Hey everybody, welcome back to Clutch Situation. It's been a little while since I've been on and that is because I have started a new job this month and it is going great. Um, for those of you who may not know, I transitioned out of K-12 through education after the horrible couple years that we've had, but the good news is is that I've stayed having an impact on the profession and I'm now a university instructor, instructor in teacher education, so I will be training new generations of teachers and I'm very excited about it. And um, so yeah, that's why I've been away for a while. Um, first, a quick little update. Uh, Cameradactyl uh, sent me some more 3D printed pencil products uh, in colors uh, and grips that I had requested and they are awesome and look great. And he sent them in this really great 3D printed pencil cup. And uh, he sent, a lid with it okay that that uh, screws on and the action on it is perfect despite being 3d printed and he has a quality enough 3d printer that really uh, high resolution is possible it also came with some additional uh, additions to the base that you could add um, this dark gray one and the brown one and so that's really cool um, I should also point out too that he also does grips for Pentel uh, Twister Ace 3s. And this is really cool because not only do I love green as a color, but also my sports team, the Green Bay Packers, is green and yellow. So this worked out perfectly for me. Um, and so thank you for sending me this. This is awesome. I really appreciate it. And uh, I plan to use on a, to use a lot more 3D printed uh, mechanical pencils moving forward because you know it's a way to personalize and so I went ahead and threw camera dactyls uh, information down in the description below for any of you who would like to get the files for 3d printing any of his stuff and I think that that is a really nifty addition to the community and so thank you now to the main event dun 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 okay that's enough of that uh so today for you i have the kakuyo in pitsu sharp in pitsu means pencil in japanese um this is a very basic mechanical pencil ranges from 0.3 millimeter all the way up to 1.3 millimeter so um 1.3 millimeter has sort of replaced the classic twist pencil in the united states which uh was 1.05 or 1. Uh, one millimeter. It was kind of odd. Um, I think that the actual defined uh, width was in the imperial system, not the metric system, which is why there are weird numbers there. Anyway, I went ahead and got each of the colors that were offered at Jet Pens. So that's where I obtained these from. We have white with a little bit of a dark blue accent, and we have black with a little bit of a red accent, which is great because this, the university that I just joined, School Colors, are black and red. And, uh, you know, I uh, th they're, pretty, uh, they're pretty low cost, but I'm also not made of money. <laughs> so um, I just got uh, lead sizes that I thought, uh, would be representative of ones that I don't have yet in these particular colors uh, so that I could pick a lead size and a color that I like on any particular day. And uh, so, yeah, let's just um, bust these open. They come in a very simple plastic sleeve. And these are examples of very simple pencils that do not have erasers. They do have an interesting trick to them, though. You'll notice that the lead holder is just straight up open and it's designed in such a way that if you tip the pencil the lead does not come out even though there's lead uh, in the chamber it is a conical lead sleeve with a retractable tip and let's just do a click test real quick that was one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so you know not a lot of um control at all. I mean, as I mentioned, these are cheaper pencils. I think that if we take it apart, we're probably not going to be surprised to see, I'm guessing, a plastic clutch in here. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, uh, see, this is a whole integrated piece. And uh, I could probably figure out how to take this apart, but it could end up busting it. And so this is likely 
glued together as one giant piece. And so just know that always you get what you pay for. Um, but if you have this stored in a pencil cup, it's very clear to you right away what the lead size is. And if you just need to mark something really quick and need to grab a pencil, this is kind of a bare bones pencil for you to be able to do it. And here it is in 0.9 and very simple instructions on this one. Okay. You can see that there's just you <laughs> shovel it in there with your thumb and you're good to go. So let's bust out the 0.9. I want to say that these go for like $4, somewhere around there. So, you know, I like Kikuyu products too. Uh, lettering on them is very clean. You know, still looks very elegant for a bare bones mechanical pencil. Uh, it also, of course, has the classic hexagonal shape of a classic wooden pencil as well. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get the deets on this and do a little bit of writing with it. Here we have the Kakuyo. Uh, Kakuyo pencils come with really good lead too. That's something that I want to say. I'm, I'm sure it's their proprietary band of lead sometime in the near future. I'm going to do, uh, lead comparisons for Kakuyo. I got 0.9 in both 2B and HB, so we could do a little comparison there. Um, but uh, I generally like the proprietary lead that Kakuyo uses. It's a, it's a good lead. Um, and you can tell right away when you write with it, it's a smooth write. Um, yeah, I just like it. So this is the Kakuyo in Pitsu Sharp. And what's going on here with writing experience? We'll get to a rating here shortly, but the initial thing that I'm noticing just holding it is that the classic hexagonal shape of the barrel of like a typical wood case pencil does make it easier to grip. Like I would definitely prefer this overall shape of a pencil body to just smooth plastic under these circumstances for sure. So I don't know. I find that interesting. Maybe you find that interesting. Maybe you don't. Um, that's up to you to decide. So we have features, we have quality, we have cost, we already talked about that, cheap, this is pretty bare bones, for USD about on jet pens. It's all out of stock right now. So... I bought these a couple months ago, just getting to the review right now. So if you're going to look and buy these, you're not going to find them on jet pens. I'm sad to say, but you know, look around, um, Tokyo pen shop might have them. I don't know. Um, you can look at that. Um, so yeah. And then of course we'll run down our pros and cons here. All right. So there's the point seven. Let's bust out the point nine. Oh, that's a chunky conical sleeve there. <laughs> a retractable 0.9 millimeter sleeve is not something that you would generally see. Um, for writing experience, I'm actually really surprised with it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with good on it and I'm going with good because the hexagonal shape of the pencil bearer does make it a heck of a lot more grippable than many other pencils that may be this bare bones, but perhaps don't have, uh, perhaps have smooth, you know, smooth round exterior, which tends to be very, very slippery. Um, I'm not going to go much higher than good because from a writing experience standpoint, the really, the only things that it's good for <laughs> are that it is a extremely lightweight pencil and it, it doesn't even have an eraser. So you'd have to be like an artist who's using their own, uh, their own separate eraser with it, which isn't that uncommon in the art world. Everybody's got their favorites. Um, so yeah, uh, features. Well, I mean, it's pretty basic. I'm going to go with okay plus. Okay. And down here on the pros, I'm going to put 
hexagonal body adds to grip ability. Grip ability! Grip, uh... <laughs> okay, I'm sure that's not it. I'm sure it's not two Ps. Surely I have a dedicated eraser somewhere around here. Or not. Um, aha! Pentel High Polymer. Classic. Okay. If I'm gonna... I mean, I'm sure this isn't the first time somebody's used grip ability as a word, but it, it shouldn't have two Ps. Grip ability. Okay. I like that about it. Retractable sleeve. Lightweight. Uh, really stretching here. Here's where we start grasping for straws. <laughs> <laughs> comes with good lead, you know. Um, yeah, I also call it elegant because it's a pretty basic profile. Uh, lettering on it is really attractive, as I said before. You know, I do like the two-color design indicating, you know, what uh, what different lead sizes uh, it breaks with convention in that here 0.9 is red, whereas it's yellow in a lot of lines, including Pentel. Okay. Uh, quality. Okay. I mean, you're getting what you pay for. Okay, so cons is that it's a pretty basic pencil, no eraser. Oh, I forgot to mention up here that it has this nifty... Uh, and I have no idea how this works. No drop lead. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Lead does not drop out of this little hole if you turn it over. And they must have some sort of little gravity mechanism in there that when you turn it over, something slips in the way, preventing it from going out. Or maybe you can only have one lead in this pencil at a time. I don't know. Um <clears throat> Maybe we'll test that out when we bust out the Kikuyu lead in a future video. Okay. So, yeah, I, I, I mean, for the price, I actually think it's, it's not a bad pencil at all. It's not going to roll anywhere because of that hexa hexagonal shape. If I had $4, would I spend this on an Ipitsu? An imp I can do this. An Ipitsu Sharp? rather than a Pentel Sharp, I could see an argument why some people would prefer a simpler pencil like this with this particular grip size, you know. Um, we don't always have to be in a competition with these sorts of things. And so um, I'm going to say that overall, I mean, it's a good pencil for the price. I see myself consistently using it, okay, but it's certainly not a top 15 piece under any circumstances. But hey, the more you know, right? It's, it's better to know more than not know more. So now you know more. I mean, your nose could be gushing blood right now. Just throwing that out there. Okay, so <laughs> there you go. Thanks everybody for watching Clutch Situation. Have a great day.